Welcome back. Thanks for watching Good Morning Connecticut. The love and laughter that comes with a new puppy is always exciting, right? But while puppies are very cute and cuddly, accepting the role of guardian for a new pup comes with some significant responsibilities. And today, Richard and Vicki Horowitz from Barkbusters, they're here with six-month-old Lizzie. She's a poodle shih tzu mix, and uh, she's letting us know a little bit about making what it's like to make this big commitment before we actually do it. And it is a big commitment. Yeah. Yes, okay. Lizzie, I'm sure, as cute as you are, you're probably a little bit of a handful. She's getting better. <laughs> She's been in the household for a short time, so that's good. Yes. Um, so what are the big things to do before the dog even steps into the house? Well, you know, one of the things that's really important is that you, as a family, you have to make this decision. This is a decision that the whole family has to agree to because there's going to be different roles and different responsibilities of different family members. So that's, no, that's one thing. Another thing to take into consideration is you need to make sure that you are prepared. So you want to make sure that you have a dog bowls. Mm. You want to make sure that you have a crate to put the dog into at nighttime um, or when you're not home, appropriate bedding that's for the right size of the dog. You don't want to have an over fluffy thing for a small little dog. Um, you want to make sure that you have collars and appropriate leashes. Um, a veterinarian in place so that you know so that you can have somebody to go for the dog to, to see. And also you got to make sure that each of the pe people in the household know what their responsibilities are going to be with the dog. Yes. Owning a dog is a lifetime commitment as you mentioned initially. Mm -hmm. All right. It's not quick. It's no. always gonna, They're always going to need attention. Right? Yes. And unfortunately I just want to add this time of year a lot of dogs get um, abandoned because they got puppies at the holidays, people don't realize the commitment that's involved and they abandon their dogs. Mm, so you see so a lot sad. more rescue dogs this time of year. Oh, yeah. that's terrible. Yeah. Yeah. So a lot of you, people have to research. People really have to understand the commitment that they're taking, making because at every stage of development, dogs have different needs. Sure. And as a puppy, we have to worry a lot about their safety and we have to put in clear rules and clear expectations for them so that we can keep them safe. That's Dogs right. don't understand about running into a street. Mm -hmm. They don't, wor wor don't understand about wires and, and different things. So we have to also puppy proof our house. So smart. And uh, these are some of the tools that you use to help train. Okay. Well, um, one of the things we yeah. do not recommend soft toys okay. because soft toys, dogs, puppies especially, cannot distinguish between a soft toy, a sneaker, a slipper, a sock, a pillow. It's okay. all the same to them. All to them, right. that's yes. the same. So right. you go with more dog appropriate toys, all right, which are hard. Um, deterrents, like bitter apple, you're going to use to spray on certain things. There might be a corner of a counter that the dog likes to chew on, mm. all right? So you want to be able to right. deter them from chewing. And that, what is, it just tastes better? It just There's, has a bad taste, yeah, exactly. Right. So they associate that bad taste with, oh, I should touch that. We tell people when you have a young puppy, you really need to get on the floor and, and puppy proof your health. So you can spray bitter apple on wires of computers. You can, oh, you know, so it smart. can really prevent them from getting a shock or anything from hurting them. So not only is it a deterrent, for them chewing on woodwork, but to deter it for, for safety. The other thing is when you are crawling around on the floor, and we really suggest you do that because you get a different view, mm -hmm. take um, valuable items away that the dog might get into. Maybe they don't do it intentionally, but their tail could wag and knock something right. off mm -hmm. the table. Anything, yeah, anything fragile on a table surface, anything that could jump up. Um, dogs are very puppies are and dogs are very into stealing remote control. Uh, no, I'm sorry, oh, yes. remote TV remotes well, and fun. destroying yeah, TV yeah, they remotes. Are fun. So you want to make sure that you get everything out of their sight. Great. Well, thank you so much. Um, great advice. And Lizzie, you were so well behaved. I can tell you've really been working on your training. Mm -hmm. uh, for more information about Barkbusters and all their great tips, just head to our website, wtnh.com. Click on the Good Morning Connecticut Weekend section. Seven.